And all the Wranglers come standard with a 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar engine, 285 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque, and can get up to 20 miles per gallon. That's going to bounce us the rest of the way down. Put it at the front, put it in. You're going forward now. I am. Have you guys gone off roading before? No, not really. Not really. So this off camber is just going to rock us from side to side to test how well the Jeep handles uneven surfaces. All four tires will be at a different height, but it does try to keep us as level as possible in here so it doesn't feel like we're leaning too far to one side. I'm just going to wait for it to give us the okay to go over. Do any of you guys have a Jeep right now? Nope, no. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We're gonna need to the left on the way up and then lead to the right on the way down. Good does a good job at keeping us pretty level in here. And set us back down. And for the one that in ring right now, it's gonna run for about 50,000. That's fully loaded. We have the heated front seats, we have the navigation with Bluetooth audio. And then we have the upgraded suspension, tires, and shocks since the roof counter built for extreme off roading. Then we're going to go 16 feet up in the air, 35 degrees up and 35 degrees back down. I do have us a four wheel drive load just to get as much traction as possible. So if you guys look over to the left, you guys can see pretty much the whole auto show over there. And on the way down, we have this little button called Build Ascent. If I push it, I can take my foot off of the brake. So, no. so it does all the braking for you the whole way down. Next up, these bumps are going to act as like rocks or logs or any of that fun stuff you find on an actual off-road trail. But you have skid plates underneath so you don't have to worry about damaging any of the undercarriage. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have realized that the Wranglers are the only ones that keep all four tires on the ground over this obstacle. <laughs> That's because we can automatically disconnect our sway bar because it just allows more room for those tires to go up and down. So just like that, it's just like a little bump in the road for us. 